Okay. Yeah. I'd like to know about the relationship between the person and their environment and the environment of the person and how, how we sit on the earth and our relationships with, with the earth. See, uh, we must remember that there's a nature within. When we say my nature is very tolerant, my nature is very aggressive, my nature is very impatient. That's nature within. And there's a nature outside. Uh, second thing that we must remember is that there are three, three levels at which we think. One is the level of individual, I as a person. Second is the level of thought, the concept. Third is the level of practice. Now, very often we stop at level of thought from the individual. But most of the time we spend, if you ask anyone, how much time did we spend in talking about people? How much time about thoughts? and how much time about practice, you will find often the balance is highly skewed in favor of people. We're talking about someone who did something. Very rarely about thoughts and very rarely about the practice of how our conduct and our uh, thoughts can be joined. So I would say that when we talk about nature, we need to bring that synergy between inner nature and outer nature. My conduct cannot be contrary to what my thoughts are. And once they unite, I'm not the same person anymore. I'm a different person then. The other thought that you must remember is that uh, in nature, there's, a, there's never a constancy. And many times you will hear people saying, oh, I am stagnating. You're not stagnating, you're decaying. In nature, either you grow or you decay. There is nothing still. There is nothing still. Life is never still. No plant, no animal, no river, nothing is still ever. Can we think of nature as a metaphor? to keep us constantly, dynamically evolving. Because the moment we stop, we are going to decay. There is no other way that we know about. So I would think that the concern for nature can best be produced, can best be generated by recognizing that our growth is not dealing with the growth of environment. If we want to grow, the environment around us must also grow. Otherwise, if the environment around us is decaying, I cannot grow. Because somewhere or the other, the feedback effect of that degrading environment will come to me. And I will stop thinking about growth. I will stop thinking about how can I share. In fact, most people who conserve also are, also are communitarian people. They also want to share things. Because nature always shares. It doesn't keep things with itself. There is not a single species of tree which has all fruits for it, only its own multiplication. There is nothing in nature which is only for itself. In fact, the concept of for oneself doesn't mean this is nature. There's always a cycle. There's always an interconnection. And I think this web of connections that nature has teaches us a great deal about web of social structure that we need to create. And whenever there are holes in this structure, something is lost. Something is lost. Thank you very much.